channel. I know I am doing a video after a really, really, really long time. But trust me that I have been trying to find time to shoot a video. But it just didn't happen. It just didn't work out. And I do also have a couple of vlogs lined up that I have to edit. But I am assure you that I'm going to edit them soon. And I'm going to edit this video and put it up soon. Uh, so if you want to, to see more videos and if you want to like kind of motivate me to do more videos then please hit that subscribe button and like this video so I know that you guys want to see. So this video is about marks, results, how to choose a career and all of that because I know that this is the time when students are getting their results and you know they are into their admission processes and all of that. So I really wanted to make a video on that. I will be telling you guys about my own experience and my own story because that's the best that I can tell you and um, yeah so uh, let's start first thing that I want to tell you is to be sure about what you want to do in your life if you have a goal you can work towards it if you know that this is what I want to do then that is going to help you build yourself right from the stage one you have to like research about the thing you have to research you have to find out about the job that you are aiming at or you have to find out at the career prospect that you're looking for you have to research you have to be sure about the fact that you want to do this also don't do it just because everyone else is doing it I'm sure that you all have like a passion and you all have believe in something that you really want to do and when you really want to do something be very clear about it be very 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 clear about it research about the topic find out what are the skills required to be that person to be in that field and check out if you have those skills and if you don't have those skills then start building up on that start preparing for it you will find out you know maybe there are certain exams that you need to give or there's a certain qualification that you need to have and build up on that start working towards the goal I know at times parents don't agree or you feel that you are doing something wrong and that is nice if you are scared of your own decisions maybe you will introspect and maybe you will get a little bit more clarity maybe that can be good and bad both of course because at times you might even find out faults or you might even find out things or something that you think can be a deal breaker or you can find out some first that you may, might have like overlooked earlier and you find out now so you know you work on that and the second thing I would like to tell you is to not give in to the peer pressure at times your parents also won't get what you're trying to do or you, you they won't agree with your career choices and that is fine that's bound to happen and that is when your research and your conviction will help you to convince them to let you do what you want so have your research ready be sure about what you want to do tell them try to convince them why you want to do what you want to do and uh, try to hear them out as well maybe they have some concerns or maybe they have something to tell you and try to find a middle way out sometimes you have like two three options and you don't really know which one is best for you or which one you're really drawn towards that's when internships and on the job experience comes in handy because it just gives you all the information and all the things that you need to know before get in, getting into the field. So I would really, really, really suggest to do internships during your academic years because that's going to help you a lot. It's going to give you experience which you need when you go for your first job. It will give you, you experience so that you know what you're getting into when you pass out. And if you are confused, it will help you solve your problems confusion as well results and marks don't really matter once you have gotten into your college because once you graduate no one is going to ask you how many percent you got it is more like okay show me what you can do show me your experience show me you know the skills that you have show me that then no, no one is going to just go for your percentage or marks although it is important to get into a good college or to get into you know the dream college that you aimed for but if that doesn't work out, it's still fine. Nothing is going wrong. You just have to like not go the normal way and you know, find a way around. But you can still do what you want to do and you can still get into what you want to do. Just don't lose hope. So that's when I want to tell you what I went through. Uh, so basically, I kind of knew in my school, I kind of knew around 7th standard that I want to get into journalism. 
uh although that time i didn't know uh, what exactly to how exactly to go about it so i didn't know about bmm i didn't know about anything per se i just knew this is what i want to do and then i started researching and finding out about the courses that i can do and things that i can get into which finally led me to what i did like that is bachelor in mass media that is bmm uh when i told my mother that my mother was completely against it she's like you're not getting into journalism I did theatre till my tenth standard, and because it was my boards, I left that. And after that, I was, you know, connected with theatre like on and off. But it kind of, I knew that it kind of had to wear off. That was not my ultimate goal. She then thought of getting me into being an air hostess. So that was the deal that I made. Because my mom was completely against being a journalist about me being a journalist, I kind of made a deal with her that fine, I'll do your air hostess course, I'll do all of that. But if that doesn't work out, then I am going to do journalism, and you can't, you know, go against it that time. You can't say no to that. So then I I did my air hostess course. I completed my air hostess course. and uh, so but the issue that time was that i am a little fat and uh, they wanted me to lose weight and they wanted me to like you know get thinner and everything which again i tried but it drove me crazy the diet drove me crazy the exercising drove me crazy and there came a time when i knew that this is not going to work out for me and i quit that after which i got into pmm i have done a montessori course as well by the way so my mom is a teacher she thought that maybe if she introduces me to teaching i may, i may start liking that so i am a certified montessori teacher as well i did that course as well just to get my mother off my back and then finally 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 persuaded her to let me do journalism let me do what i really want to do which is when i got into pmm which is when uh i finished my pmm i did my masters and during the second year of my masters i got a job i got like my dream job and i am happily doing it so the good thing that happened in all of this was i did a lot of odd jobs in between um i i i, I am a certified a hostess and i am a certified um montessori teacher I have experience of theater I have experience of you know working in a call center and um, uh, you know doing all of that along with that I started my blog way back you know it was around this time when I started my blog because I knew that I wanted to get into journalism and I knew that uh, if I have a blog or if I have something where I write it will help me polish my writing which is how my blog came into existence and uh, right now that blog is really really close to me so it still is on and uh, from that blog the youtube channel came up and so when i look back i actually did a lot of things even when i was confused and even when my mom was against my career choices so all that i'm trying to say here is that if you are really sure about what you really want to do and if you know what you really want to do just stick to that just stick to the goal and things are going to work out and things are going to fall in place and when there's chaos when you know that you know things are not working out your way just try to find out one good thing that's happening because during that time i was like oh you know what maybe this is not working out but you know look at the bright side i actually have these many courses or i actually have this many experience and i actually have a lot of other things even though that one thing is not working out and along with all these other things i'm going to try and make that one thing work out and if that thing happens it's going to be really amazing which really did happen which really did come true and right now i when i look back i'm like i didn't really waste a lot of time it was 2 years i mean all that chaos happened in 2 years and i'm like those 2 years actually helped me a lot if i you know look back and try to figure out things it made me see a world in various ways it made me see learn a lot of things it made me it taught me a lot of things basically and it really 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 helped all i'm saying is whatever marks you have or whatever it is that you are planning to do when if it's not working out just stay calm just work towards it it is going to work out don't worry about it